Welcome back to my makeup tutorial or welcome to my makeup tutorial. No, just kidding. Um, this week, Edward's gone because this week's content had nothing to do with him. I just wanted to rant and I just, you know, let's talk about what grinds my gears while also I'm going to do my makeup. So if you're wondering why I look like death won over, uh, death worn over, won over, I don't know. You know the same. If you're wondering why, because also we're going to do my makeup, but if you think you're going to learn anything, this is not a real true tutorial unless you want to know how not to do your makeup because, but speaking of tutorials, Nikki tutorials just got engaged. So go find her, say congrats. Anyways, let's just get right into this. All right. So anyways, let's just get started with the base. What really grinds my gears? The first thing, McDonald's, okay? And not McDonald's itself, but McDonald's and people who claim that they don't eat it. Like, what is that about? Like, McDonald's is one of, if not the number one fast food joint, right? But yeah, you have so many people Talking about, oh my gosh, you know, I would never eat McDonald's, like it's so unhealthy, but somebody eating it. Everybody's not that damn healthy. You're not. So why do people lie? If you enjoy a Big Mac, if you want you a number seven, go get your number seven. Like it's not that deep. Also, if you guys want to know the products that I'm using, I will list them all below. But I, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't get what the big, it's almost like it's a trend to say, oh, I don't eat McDonald's, like I would never, I don't give it to my children. Like, okay, like if you don't eat it, like that's great that you have a, a healthy, balanced diet. But I think a little bit every now and then is not going to kill anybody. Like, let's just be real. Okay, so now we're going in with the concealer. Okay. And if anybody wants to correct my makeup tip, my makeup routine, um, a little hair. That's another thing that grinds my gears. I'm trying to do the makeup here, and the freaking uh, little straggly hairs are in the way. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's move on to the next topic. The next thing that really grinds my gears is that everybody wants to have hurt feelings these days. Everybody, we we live in. Of what do they call it? Offensive culture. Everybody's offended over something. Everybody wants to be a part of the oppressed people. Which, why? Like, I know that as humans, like, we all want to feel included. But to just scroll through Twitter and scroll through Instagram, just looking, scrolling through social media, or even in the workplace, just to scroll through stuff, just to say, oh my gosh, I'm so offended, I can't believe you said, like... And people really be feeling like they said something. They People really feel like, oh, I'm going to call this person out. I'm going to show them. I'm not going to use racial slurs over here. Which brings me to a, a, another another thing. And excuse me for jumping topic here. And yes, this is empty. But I'm going to make it work. Hold on, give me a second. Just It came out a second ago. Hold on. Also, tell me something that that grinds your all's gears in the comment section below. Oh wow, that was that was too much. Let me park the C's here. And if I'm saying something that's grinding your gears, if the way I do my do my makeup grinds your gears, sound off below. Come find me on Twitter at me. But anyways, what I was gonna get to was, can we just talk about the N word for a second? No, you know, I'm black, I can tell. <clears throat> I just want to go on record of saying, now hear me out. I just want to go on record of saying, I am not a person who gets all in a huff when a white, when any white person says the N word. Now, if it's said with the ER on the end, then okay. It's kind of offensive. That's. But, I want to take you back, y'all remember the movie White Chicks, right? And they were in the car, and it was that scene, 
and I'll probably put it over here so y'all can reference it. And they were in the white chicks, they were in the car, and then a song comes on that has the N word in it. And so Sean and Marlon, since their character, since they really are black men, without thinking, they start to say the N word, but they're dressed up as the white girls. And so their friends are like, "Oh my gosh, you can't say that! Like that's so and so." And they're like, "So, but no one's listening." Guys, I can't believe that you just said that. So what? <gasps> the N word. Uh, so. Nobody's around. Yeah. Point is, if I'm in the club and a song comes on and has an N word in it, and we're, and, and we're good, we're good Judies, and my white gal pals are like, "Yeah, I've been my niggas and my niggas in the club." Okay, like it's. I'm not gonna start partying and be like, "Oh my gosh, Becky, you cannot say the N word. You're not black." Like it's. You know, if she can't really say it right, if she's like, my nigga, my nigga, if she's like that, then no, like, Becky, no. No, you, you can't say it. But I know some really swagged out people, just like I know some black people say it in word and just, it doesn't sound right. And pretty much all of my Hispanic friends say the N word, and I don't even bat an eye, because they're a minority. Not that it makes it better, because some black people think that no one should say the word at all. To me, it doesn't matter. To me, I care more about the intention behind it because what if a black people come in man said man y'all broke ass niggas that was an attack but it came from a black person so to me i just i'm more about the energy behind it so that's just something that 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 grinds my gears i i that everybody wants to get offended and they're like oh no white people people should say and if that's how you feel that's okay but i will say this white people if you got black friends that tell you yeah, yeah, man, you can say, you can say that, you can say the, uh, N-word. Say it around that group, okay? Because, just because one black person tells you you can do something, doesn't mean, you know what I'm saying? Does not mean that you can say it around anybody. And that goes for anything. Black people, stop telling your white friends that they can do stuff, or not do stuff. And then not tell them that they can't do it around all black people. So just know your limits. You know what I'm saying? If we're good Judy's, you can get away with some stuff. But just don't think you can go out here and just run around saying the N-word any all time. Because it'd be, it'd be, you know, somebody want to, you know, pop off. I don't want the smoke. I'm warning you now. I'm okay with you saying the N-word around me. But if we go out in public and you say it, I may or may not know you. And that's just tea. That's just, that's the thesis. And uh, and we're just doing a quick one too with the makeup. I'm, I'm not doing anything with any kind of rhyme or reason. This is just kind of happening. So drag me in the comments below. Like, <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> Right? Now there was something else that grinds my gears. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Muffin. Muffin is my fault. Sit down, Muffin. Something else that really grinds my gears. My fault. Uh, something else that really grinds my gears with people. Stop leaving your house like y you just rolled out of bed. What is, what is, what is that? What is that? It's not. I mean, I get it. If you're in a hurry, some people feel like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm just running to the store. You don't know who you're going to see at the store. You could leave and meet the one person you've always wanted to meet. How, I'm gonna, how am I supposed to do my eyeshadow? Okay, here, I'll cross my legs. Also, by the way, before I carry on with that, I'm using the James Charles Morphe. Unleash your inner artist palette, and as you can see, she's been used. Hold on, I, I haven't lost my train of thought. I'm just picking my eyeshadow out. So, calm, calm down. Take a breath. Okay, so let's go in with the color Punch Me. Okay, so like, use it in a sentence. If you don't like what I'm saying, Punch Me is the shade uh, that I'm using. 
Yeah, do I feel like you need to have on five layers of makeup and have on your Sunday best every time you go out to the store? No. But can you at least wipe the swab off of your face and your baby face? I see so many people and and sometimes you'll even see you'll see the parents put together. But then the kid Little girls, hair is not cold. They got slob all on, you know, pajamas on. I, I mean, okay, look, it's one thing y'all walking around here with leggings and workout clothes. Because, like, I just came from the gym and I'm on my way there. Okay, that's fine or whatever. I guess as long as you look put together. But we'll talk about leggings, too. Just look like you care. Because you, you just never know who you're going to meet. And if you run into somebody who could offer you an opportunity or something... I don't want to be looking like who did it and what for. That might be your one and only shot. And then here you are. Oh, well, you know. And then also, you might see somebody from way back when that you haven't seen in a while. You know what I'm saying? You run up on them in the store and, it, you know, somebody you went to high school with, you know, somebody you ain't seen in years, girl. And you go up to them you're like, ah, you do the first thing that they going to say when they go back to see whoever, the first thing they're going to say is, girl, you know I seen so-and-so. She didn't look good. Girl, yeah, her hair was all the way. Man, she had a scarf on. Whoop, whoop. Now, before you attack, don't attack. This is my opinion. How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion! Before you attack me about going out in public with your scarf on, I suppose there's ways to make you cute. But, you know the difference. Don't be just going out here with any old right scarf. Especially the scarf stink. Wash your scarves out. Shit, that's trifling. Anyways, let me change my color before I carry on. Let's see. I'm going to go in with Colt James. Is the name. Colt James. Give me one more color up in here. Y'all going to make me lose my mind. Up in here. Up in here. But no, just look like you care, especially when it comes to your kids. And if you only have time to get one of y'all together, which you should have time to get both of y'all together. Wake up early or do what you need to do, prepare at night or whatever have you. But if if it comes down to it, it's a situation where one, only one of y'all can look good, make sure it's the kid. I'm not, I'm not saying that you got to put so much emphasis on looks because looks aren't everything. They're not. But when you look good, you feel good. When you feel good, you make good choices. And that's true for adults and kids. You know what I'm saying? So no, you don't have to do makeup. You don't have to wear a brand new fit every time you walk out the door. But just wash your face, brush your teeth, wash your ass. You know what I'm saying? Just basic. One, two, three. Comb your baby's hair. If you don't feel like combing their hair, because I know some of these natural hairstyles, some of y'all kids got... Never mind. But... I get it. You get some of those cute little hats and put them on. You know what I'm saying? All right, now I'm going to go in with the... Uh, I don't want to go too dark in the creep, uh, in the out, outer bean. I'm going to go with 10% off. Of, if that's not dark enough, then I'll go to no beans. I love these names. I don't think it's dark enough. Can y'all see that? That's like, you can see it a little bit. Mm. Nah. All right, let's go darker. Let's go to no beans. Let's see. Watch me mess up this whole makeup look. I mean, it's already messed up. Let's be honest. Y'all are not here to learn how to do makeup. Oh. It's okay, I can fix it. I can fix it, I promise. I can. Well, also, I'm not looking into a mirror. I'm looking into the uh, computer screen to do this. Also, Edward told me to tell y'all hi. Edward, Eddie. Tell me to tell y'all what's up. I had to break out another mirror. I like this one because it smells like chocolate. This is tart. A tart eyeshadow palette. Last thing that's kind of been on my mind that grinds my gears is how obsessed everyone is with 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 Jana and whether or not it's real. If you don't know, Jana is the latest, you know, YouTube it couple, right? And they kind of got this situation where is it, is it, is it not, are they really together, is this a clout thing, is it just a joke, are they really in love, I just kind of feel like who flipping, who cares, who cares, that's their business, 
why can't we just have fun with it and enjoy it? And if they come out and say, ha ha, just kidding, then we can just all laugh about it. But there's some people out here that are really like going out of their way to prove that it's wrong. Sorry, I spit. Breaking their neck to, to just say, oh, well, here's this proof that it's not real. And here's that proof. Why do you people not have anything better to do with their lives? than to sit here and try to prove somebody's YouTube relationship fake. And then you have other people on the other side, it is real because this happened and she tweeted this out. Okay, if it's real, let it be real. If it's not, y'all gotta have more than do more to do. And these aren't just little teeny boppers that I'm talking about here. No offense to the teeny boppers. You know, I love the teeny boppers. But some of these people are as old as I am. Waiting for some stuff to pop off. I'm like there's got to be a book for y'all to read. If it's fake, what are you going to do? Arrest them? Tell them to cancel their channels? Like, you're not going to do nothing. Let it be. I think it's cute. Everybody's in uproar. Well, they only been dating for two months. So, he got coins. She got coin. Nobody, you know, they signed prenups and all this other kind of crap. Allegedly, supposedly. If they got married, they supposedly signed prenups and stuff. So, it ain't like one of them was a broke ass and somebody might run off with the other person's money. So at least that's not a situation. Also, if you're like, oh, Chanel, you didn't do your eyebrows. Hold on. I got you. I got you. One second. This is how I roll. Well, let me sit that down. We'll come back to eyeliner. So you said I didn't do my eyebrow. Well, I'm going to take the toothbrush. Do a little brush. Get down today. Again, down and And then you take your bangs and you put it over. Yeah, that's my eyebrows. Now, can I get back to the eyeliner, please? Thank you. And I know what you're saying, Chanel. You're not supposed to pull your eye like that. And my response is, I don't know how to do it anymore. And also, this is really hard looking into the uh, computer monitor. This is this is hard. This is hard. I mean, you would think it's like looking into a mirror, but it's really, it's not. But actually, going back to eyebrows, that's, a, that's something else that grinds my gears. What is the obsession with eyebrows? Like, it's eyebrows. Like, eyebrows have always been a big part of makeup. Not, not always, but for a significant amount of time, eyebrows have been a part of makeup routine. But it just seems like within the last, I say, like, five years or less, it's just been this obsession with, oh, and then don't have jacked up eyebrows. And then, but see, this is the whole thing. It's about, there's no one right way to do an eyebrow, but everybody knows what a bad one looks like. But no one can tell you exactly how to do a right one. Then it depends on face shape and hair color and all this other kind of stuff. But if you have an eyebrow that people feel like it's ugly, they will just drag you to filth. So I'm too scared to even try. That's why I just do bangs. And be done with it. Also, like this James Charles palette, it works for more than just eyeshadow. You can use it for like blush and like contour and like other stuff too. So, I actually just started doing makeup within about a year and a half ago. Whenever I discovered James Charles, oh, I just I love him. And that little Tati, that whole situation grinded my gears too because Tati is a very creative, very good businesswoman. But if I could just speak out of turn here, Tati, you you're a grown, grown woman. And, and James at the time, he's 20 now, but at the time was 19 year old, 19 years old. He was a kid. And for you to go online and just put him on blast for whatever reason, whether you had legitimate reasons or not, that's a whole other topic of discussion. But for you to do that, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just really hate that any of that happened. You know, and then Jeffree Star got involved. And that's another conversation for another day, but... I just say that because what grinds, what grinds my gears about all that is that people who want to blast each other, friendships and relationships online, why blast each other online, especially if y'all gonna go back to being friends or something? Not that they didn't, I'm just saying people love to get mad at each other and then they want to put all your dirty laundry online and then it's just, it's just, it's just too much. Now, on the other hand, Emma Chamberlain and the Gerties. Now, Emma fell out with 
a couple of her her good Judys who also do YouTube. Now they never officially came out and said that they fell out, but they stopped making videos together. Who's to say that they don't hang out anymore behind the scenes? Because they very well might. But the the fact of the matter is these are teenage girls that we're talking about here. Emma's 18 now. But these are teenage girls who had enough sense that if something wasn't going well, they stopped. They just, they kept it between themselves and they moved on. And people asked, oh, how come you don't make videos? And they just, they moved on. And that's how it should be done. That stuff should be between you. You don't need to be making videos of people talking about, oh, like, I'm exposing you. I have receipts. It's whatever. Guys, look, I'm almost done. I'm just going to do a little highlight and we're going to be out of here. Let's just use the James Charles palette because... It's already out, and I don't feel like digging out the other highlight. And for this, sometimes I use So Good, and sometimes I use Face. Okay, so let's hit that cheek bone. Oh, right now I'm using Face. I don't know if I said that, but yeah, I'm using Face. There she is. And it's not the palette. This is actually pretty blinding. It's just I don't have the best lighting or the best camera. But stick around. The content may get better. I usually do this before I do my lip balm for Erica. I like to get my Cupid's bow. And contouring, I know I skipped it stuff, but I don't really... Uh, I, sometimes, the, I rarely contour. Um, I'll do more contouring if depending on like the outfit. If the outfit is very dramatic, don't look at my little naps, y'all. Yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll do that if the outfit is like really dramatic. You know the contouring... You know, I, I don't do that because I kind of like a more round face on me because I feel like it fits my personality more. Because when I think round face, I think youthful. Should we go in with the Jeffree Star? Like, this is the nude, like a more of a nude look. And then this here is what... <gasps> oh, no. <sighs> Nikki tutorials would not... Sheesh. Sorry, hold on. The makeup in person is actually kind of bomb. But this camera, I don't know. Maybe it's the light. Can I just, what if I adjust the light? All right, so I guess that's the makeup look for today. I guess that's my rant for the day. Like I said, we were just hanging out, shooting the breeze a little. I don't know. Anyways, if you guys like more of just like these sit down rant videos, if you want, me and Edward to do what grinds our gears and kind of just sound out, maybe debate a little bit. Let us know in the comment section below. We'll, we'll make it happen for you. We're here to provide the content that you want, but you don't need. So let us know. Anyways, we have other social media, so come find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'm the only one with Snapchat, but sometimes I put Edward on there, so you can come follow me on there too. How long could that end right there? I hope that just happened. But anyways, thanks you guys for thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. Trying to get out. Come on. Mine they're at, they are in they are a minority. Oh, I thought I wasn't recording. I was about to cry.